me on top. City on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough. Speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far for me. Never caught off, now one too far for me. Never caught off, now one day. It's the NBA. Welcome to our Sunday night broadcast here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Mike Conley. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Here's the starting group for Houston. The wings, Green and Brooks. Smith is out there with the Cobra, and it's Wall in at the one. And for the Timberwolves, the wings set for him, Edwards and McDaniel. The two towering figures inside for him, Towns and Gobert. And it's Conley in at the point guard. Always exciting to see two teams with bright futures, Greg. Young stars hungry to prove themselves. And Kevin, the hungrier, the better, if you ask me. When you've got all that youthful energy and ambition out on the court, very special things can happen. Wall against Edwards. Over Wall. Bank shot. No good. Now the Rockets with it. Smith sets the pick for Wall. Shoots over Towns. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Outside Conley, Timberwolves passing it around. Fades away. Shot by McDaniels, no good. And so Brooks will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Pass to Wall. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Smith with a screen on Conley. Back to Brooks. Shot clock at six. Out to Smith. Outside, Green, and here's Wall outside. Gobert pulls it in. Being at the last game for the Timberwolves, it was a loss to the Magic. Conley against Wall. Pass to Towns. Out to Conley, fires for three, and once again off the mark by Minnesota. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Conley against Wall. Green deciding where to go with it. In the corner, Smith with it. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Good read from Green there. Getting better at sensing when his teammates are wide open and need the ball. Edwards against Brooks. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Kyle laid the pass to Towns. Perry's the long-range jumper. And you know, we know he has this shot in his bag. I mean, Towns enjoy going right back at the opponent with the three ball. Greg, remember back when the 22-23 season started and the Rockets were among the youngest teams in the NBA. And it's hard to win in this league with youth and inexperience. Houston's front office aggressively adding quality vets like Fred Van Lee in hopes of stabilizing that roster. Here's Conley following the score by Houston. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Timberwolves trail by four. Out to Edwards. 
over Smith. Edwards can't hit. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Green dishes the wall. The pass to Brooks. Wall taking his time here. Brooks outside. Four on the clock. Green inside the three-point line. A rebound by the Timberwolves. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Rockets. That one was played down in Houston. And they'll want to show that they're a much better team than they demonstrated last time out against these guys. At the very least, avoid another blowout. And it really was the turnovers that fueled the blowout. I mean, a lot of questionable, poor decisions by them with the ball. And when that happens, you can get blasted. Knocks down the three ball. Green, impressive range from deep. He knows how dangerous he can be from there. Brooks against Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Brooks. Edwards passes to Gobert. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Smith outside. From outside, off the mark. Timberwolves trail by five. That's a two from Towns. Green with the rebound. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Houston. And it's Green slamming it down. Some of these dunks he throws down are absolutely absurd. What an athlete Green is. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Over in the corner, McDaniels. Back to Towns. Over Smith. And that one's good, Towns. Towns has got five points so far. You know, Towns can burn you from anywhere, especially from these in-between spots. Smith kicks to Green. Tries the spin move, and the basket is good. He has seven. The Timberwolves trade. Bounce pass, Conley. Towns a screen on green. Here's McDaniels. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And the 28th pick in the 2020 draft, Clark. Jaden McDaniels has more than outplayed his draft position. Yeah, you know, there were some question marks year one in college at UW, but you look at him now, hey, length, mobility, skill set, those are things that every team wants and needs. The free throw drops from McDaniels. With the majority of the season behind us, GA, what becomes the focus for teams that have postseason aspirations? Kevin, ideally, this is the time of year that you want to be hitting your stride. So you have to make sure everyone's on the same page and that you're united in the same goal. He hits both from the strike. Incredibly for the Minnesota Timberwolves, Clark, the 2004 playoffs are the only time they've won a series. You know, Kevin, with Kevin Garnett, they had a few 50-win teams and some excellent coaches. Man! Oh, my! What a play! Uh-huh! Blasting off, Green runs in and just launches himself to the rim. Edwards against Brooks. Gobert with a screen on Brooks. Here's Edwards. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Green, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Something I like about Jalen Green, that, that ability to go vertical and just adjust midair. We call that great body control, partner, and you've seen guys over your time around the league where that's a special gift, and it really can make it hard for defenders. Green is excellent using that body and athleticism.
free throw drops for Green. After two consecutive first-round exits, Greg, the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. Both free throws good from Green. Hey, it's hard not to gush about Green. I mean... He's one of the more exciting talents to enter this league in, in quite some time. Outside Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Brooks. And Clark, what can you say about Anthony Edwards? Living up to that first overall hype, he has been spectacular. Yeah, he has been, Kevin. I agree. Some were surprised he went first overall, but you look back at that draft, he was as good a number one pick as any of them and he's certainly proven to be worthy of that status. First free throw is good. Already growing a reputation as one of the game's most notorious trash talkers. Edwards is just having fun out there. Edwards drops them both. So if you look at the Rocket struggles, uh, Clark, over the last few seasons, what stands out to you? Well, I think it starts at the defensive end of the floor, Kevin. I mean, a team is not going to make noise in the NBA if they don't defend consistently. I'm sure improving on D is a focus this season. To the left side wing. Towns against Smith. If the teardrop count that one towns has got seven and i'm trying to think of how many seven footers i know with that level floater in their arsenal it's a short roll call list folks brooks the best of the copa score the basket his second of two attempts this is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball you're exactly right i mean everything seems to be dropping impressive scoring here Edwards looking it over for the three. And finished off by Gobert. This is what the team relies on Gobert for, clearing the glass and finishing the play. Smith with a screen on Edwards. Green drives in. Sixth in fast break points. And they're in the top third in the league assist oftentimes in possessions making the extra pass makes all the difference and with that steals ranking you talked about Greg their defense has been a major strength for them. I mean they cause all sorts of headaches for their Shoot opponents two. and the first one at the line is good big group substitution now for Minnesota Nas Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Kyle Anderson comes in for Towns. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for McDaniels. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker in for Mike Conley. Houston with a big group substitution here. Jock Landale's checked in for the Cobra. Tari Eason comes in for Smith. Whitmore, he's checked in for Dylan Brooks. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for John Wall. Timberwolves trail by nine. Here's Alexander Walker. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Near the three-point line, it's Edwards. That's his first basket of the game. One for six and looking for more. He was certainly cold, but perhaps that basket might get him going a little bit. One for six now. They get a hand on it. Edwards with it. Now defended by Whitmore. Now here's Edwards. 29 points for him last game against Orlando. Let's see the stat sheet here for John Wall. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing more on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot tougher on D.
first one falls for him. Marjanovic checked in for Jock Landale. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. for Fred Van Vliet. Really been a key contributor over the past month. Averaging about 16 points, four assists, and three rebounds. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is. And he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. Second free throw, no good. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. The Rockets making a switch here. Green's checked in. Good on the second free throw. And so Edwards will bring it up for the Timberwolves. Seven point differential. Passes it to Alexander Walker. Back to Edwards. Lock at six. Three pointer. Green with the rebound. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. Tate, he's checked in for Houston. Here's Clarkson. He's coming off a 10-point game against Orlando. And he was also a terrific creator in that game as well. His assist totals show you what a fantastic all-around effort it was. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Pass to Whitmore. 
Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got his third assist on the night. Edwards finds Clarkson. 158 left to play here in the first. Offensive rebound. Reed hits the jump hook. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Outside green. Feeds it to green. And he makes that one. Green's got his second bucket of the night. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. There's Green with the three. That shot missing. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Houston leading by 11. Tate the pass to Van Vliet. There's 49 seconds left here in the first quarter. And here's Green outside. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Deep two from Clarkson. Goes back up. And it's laid up and in by Anderson. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And he banks in the layup. Green's got 15. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Green against Edwards. Clarkson for three. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Houston on top, leading by 14. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Rockets. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. Also, they're getting into the teeth of the defense. Points in the paint, something coaches always love to see. They've got Clarkson. Nas Reed out there with Kyle Anderson. Then there's Edwards, and it's Alexander Walker in at the point guard position. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Timberwolves. Wall gets a lot of defensive attention inside, but his experience and skill, along with his athleticism, allow him to find a way to get it up and down. And here's Edwards from the arc. Eason grabs the board. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Timberwolves trail by 16. Anderson dishes to Clarkson. Edwards passes to Reed. Back to Edwards. Trying to break that ice gold streak. That shot is off. Wall with some nice D. Pass to Tate. The kick out to Wall. Misses the three. The Timberwolves shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. Edwards passes to Anderson. Back 
kick to Edwards. Nailed from three-point land. Edwards got eight points. And you know, succeeding in the catch-and-shoot game will really help Edwards set up his drives to the hoop. To the paint. And the dunk by Eason. Great pass. John Wall is really good at finding the open man. And it didn't take long for Anthony Edwards to cement himself, Greg, as Minnesota's franchise player. He is one of the best young players in the league with clear superstar potential. The future of the Timberwolves starts with Edwards. Tate the pass to Wall. Van Vliet against Anderson for three. That one misses. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Clarkson outside. And it's Whitmore with the rebound. Here's Tate. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Anthony Edwards. Rockets have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. And comparing to the numbers of last season, they've made a bit of improvement. So that's some positive momentum they can look to build on. That free throw good from Tate. Right, there has been some talk of having overtime play to a target score. Can you make the case for that? I mean, yeah. I mean, more certainty on how long the broadcast will go, right, Kevin? And protecting players from the heavy minute loads that can result from those games that go into multiple overtimes. So I, I, I like that idea. And both free throws good for Tate. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. And here's Clarkson. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Houston leading by 17. Eason scored the basket, his second of two attempts. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Rudy Gobert is a fierce competitor. He says the average fan might not understand what I bring to the table, but the GMs in the league do. I want to be the best defensive player of all time. I want to be a force, and I want to win championships. I've got to set the tone every night. Kevin? And he does. He is a stopper, no doubt about it. David, thank you. Van Vliet can't get it to go. And it's Anderson with the ball for the Timberwolves. Trailing by 17. When this game is done, they'll be off to Chicago as they take on the Bulls. Hit the road with that, the first of a five-game run. Goes up the baseline. The shot by Clarkson, no good. Houston's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Thompson finds Wall. Clarkson against Tate. Eason with a screen for Tate. Out to Thompson, flying his work from deep. Reed with the rebound. Minnesota's gone 1-4 from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Edwards against Wall. Here's Alexander Walker. Hands the 12-footer. Alexander Walker's got his first points of the night. Obviously a mix-up defensively on that possession. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Kyle Anderson. One of the things that makes Wall so tough in this position is his athleticism. And he's able to use that to draw fouls inside. Rockets have shot the ball well from the free throw line. Eight of Take nine. Break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for John Wall. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business. 
at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws and 100% free throwing for the quarter. That's superb. Gobert, he's checked in for Minnesota. Mike Conley comes in for Alexander Walker. The Cobra, he's checked in for Houston. Dylan Brooks comes in for Thompson. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Well, there's no denying that when Wall is healthy, he is still a major threat in this league. I mean, he's lightning quick as a point guard, and he has tremendous defensive instincts. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Now the pass to Easton. Kicks it to Brooks. Pass to Wall. Takes a three. Connects from three-point range. Wall's got ten points in the game. How about that? Nice to see Wall feeling it from beyond the arc. He's really worked hard to develop that shot. For three, Edwards. Now the Cobra with the rebound. The Cobra's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Eason. And the dunk by Eason. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is. That's a tough shot. Conley gets the bucket. Rockets leading by 19 points. To the inside. And there's Van Vliet on the assist by Wall. Well, that's an easy pass for John Wall to make. As soon as he spots his teammate wide open, he's dropping that dime on time and on target. Gobert with a screen on Brooks. Edwards passes to Gobert, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Clark, when you think of top rebounders today, Rudy Gobert is a name that comes to mind. Yeah, he's super long and tall, but that's not just why he's such a dominant rebounder. He's got a real good knack for reading where balls are coming off, and the timing that he has is pretty impeccable, too. And even though he's north of seven feet tall, he does a good job boxing out as well. The first one falls. Look, we all know Rudy Gobert is a force on defense, but you can't afford to ever ignore this guy. I mean, he's got the physical gifts to make problems anywhere on the floor. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for Reed. And it's McDaniels in for Jordan Clarkson. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here is Wall. He's got ten. Smith sets the pick for Wall. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got seven rebounds in the game. Brooks against Edwards. Back to McDaniel. Looking to get it going. Jump shot is good that time. That's 12 points for Anthony Edwards. Rockets leading by 17. Here's Smith. And Smith with the stuff. Boy, Smith put some real power behind that jam. Well done, young man. And the Timberwolves call time here. Yeah, and his shot selection, iffy at best tonight. A lot of forced, contested shots this game. He'll be lucky if he just gets a talking to here instead of a, a ticket to the bench. And he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And a change for the Rockets. Van Vliet's checked in. against Van Vliet. Back to Conley. Looking for Clarkson. He gets it there. He kicks to McDaniels. Shoots over Van Vliet. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Pass to Green. 
And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Jaden McDaniels. Green, such a hard cover because he's always in attack mode, disruptive to the defense, and makes it hard to guard him. For Houston, they have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And you think about the All-Star game last year, Greg, some concern about the lack of competition. Uh, it worries me. Does it worry you? Kevin, it's not ideal. I think it's worth asking, what could give the players more incentive to win, whether that's money or something else we can think of? And both free throws good for Green. Timberwolves trail by 21. Pass to Gobert. Back to Conley. From deep. Rockets with the rebound. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough. But that's how you win games. Down to five on the shot clock. Smith, no good. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. McDaniels passes to Clarkson. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Gobert down low. Covered by Van Vliet. And here's Conley outside. Rebound by Smith. Rockets leading by 21. And Green now, top of the key. Poke loose. Smith finds Green. There's the pass to the Cobra. And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. Passes it to Gobert. Here's Clarkson. Pass to Conley to stop the drought. Another miss by Conley. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. They set the screen. And here's the fast break. Clarkson leading the way. And they're in the top third in the league in assists. Oftentimes in possessions, Making the extra pass makes all the difference. And with that steals ranking you talked about, Greg, their defense has been a major strength for them. I mean, they cause all sorts of headaches for their opponents. And the first one drops. They are perfect from the line in this quarter and need to stay aggressively in attack mode if they want to gain control of this game. Both free throws good for Clarkson. And, you know, one of those rare second-round picks who played well immediately. Clarkson was first-team all-rookie and continues to develop. Green against Clarkson. The drive by Green and the rejection by Towns. Conley against Van Vliet. Outside Conley. And the dunk by Towns. And, you know, Conley developed great vision in terms of the floor, and that allows him to spot an open teammate. On the wing, Brooks. McDaniels defending. Screen by Smith. From 11 feet away, rebound collected by Clarkson. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. 17-point game. 
Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. And guys, you just can't afford to give away points from the foul line. Not in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. Yeah, and you know, to come up short at the line is frustrating because that's controllable and it's actually a free throw. So you feel like you leave loose change out there when you don't convert. The free throw off from McDaniels. Known as a versatile and tremendous defender, McDaniels also continues to make real good progress as a scorer. They kick it out to Green. Back to Van Vliet. Shoots the three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Pass to Clarkson. Van Vliet against Towns. Towns is doubled. Towns a screen on Brooks. McDaniels. And a miss there on the triple. Rockets leading by 15. Brooks finds Green. Smith with a screen on Clarkson. Green with the ball. And it's Clarkson picking him up. Smith against Conley. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Clark, one benefit that Jabari Smith has had in his career is the wisdom from his dad. He has learned a lot. No wisdom like a father's wisdom, particularly when a dad has traveled the road that his son is traveling in the NBA. I'm sure his dad learned a ton in his experience that he has passed on to Jabari Smith Jr. in a way that's benefited the younger Smith. Throw good, Smith. I think he's the prototypical four in the modern game. Jabari Smith has an excellent three-point stroke, and he can defend multiple positions. Smith hits them both. There's 45 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Clarkson against Green. Now, here's Clarkson. He's tightly guarded. And finished off by McDaniel. Rocketing right off the floor. Explosive jam by McDaniel. And Blake deciding where to go with it. Banked in off the glass. Van Vliet's got his second bucket of the game to go. They're yeah, taking it right into the teeth of the defense, and, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for them at that end of the floor. Here's Towns. Smith with the defensive effort. And so it's Houston, feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here.
And welcome to halftime. With the all-star festivities around the corner, here are the favorites to take part in the dunk contest. Shaq, I want to know why you never entered the dunk contest. No, he did. He was a prop for Diallo, remember? Kenny, I will prop you up right now. Ah, prop the noun versus prop the verb. You can see how popular I was in high school, can't you? And as we shift focus back to our game, things couldn't have gone much worse for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're rolling out the red carpet in the lane and everybody's on the guest list. They need to call security, tighten it up. You know what, Shaq? You'd be a good bouncer. I mean, heck, you could just like do that as a side hustle. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Well, guys, what can you say? Jalen Green, an impressive effort here today. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Well, you know, in that first half, it was a common occurrence. He got to the strike time and time again. And as we...